Hello, beautiful. Welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in your reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on his honest feelings about you. And I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Let's get straight into your reading. Meditate here on the three cards and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. Let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful number one. Welcome to your reading. His honest feelings about you. I will share with you all of the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. Let's get straight into your reading. And I see your energy. You're naturally drawn here to the goddess Yomoha. This is about release. This is how about him feeling like you know, you are letting go, you are moving on, you are moving forward. You may be ending this relationship connection to start something new about how you are. He feels like you're giving more of your time, your energy to yourself, to your projects, you know, looking forward to the future, you know, and things that you like rather than putting all your focus on him. He's very insecure about the connection between you two, about the future, how this relationship may go. He's really not in the stable state of emotions, just very unbalanced here, his feelings. Like one minute he feels like this is going to go somewhere. You guys are going to be together. You guys are going to connect. You're communicating nicely. And then the other feeling, he feels like you are pulling away your energy. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are his honest feelings about you? Eighth house intimacy. Ooh, with the eighth house showing up, let me just point out that the eighth house, it does rule over an intimate connection. And see, he does want that intimacy with you, but he feels like you are pulling away right now. You're not there. You're just not into it the way that you used to be into this connection. The eighth house does rule over Scorpio. So Scorpio is significant in the sun, moon, or rising sign, seventh house of relationship, or the planet Venus in his birth chart or your birth chart. Also, let me point out, the eighth house rules over transformation, endings and beginnings, as well as joint finances. So I love how the eighth house showed up as a confirmation with the message that spirit just gave us with you. He's thinking that you're going to end this relationship connection, start a new beginning and possibly start a beginning with someone else. With joint finances, this is something coming through where, um, this is about a partnership, you know, where two people are sharing like bills or paying something together, sharing expenses. So he's feeling like this could be a connection where you guys could move in together or, you know, just share the same space, split the rent. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are his honest feelings? And you have here, look at the eight of pentacles. Oh my goodness. Two eight cards coming up. This is literally a synchronicity of eight, eight. This is rare, very rare for two eight cards to come out. Thank you, spirit. And I do feel like that this is a clear message from your spirit guides. This is about like a connection of like infinity. The number eight represents infinity. So he is really hoping that this relationship can last. You know, this is a relationship where you guys can find the strength to stay together or to be together. The number eight is significant in the birthday, birth month, or birth year of his chart or your chart as a confirmation here in the reading. 
But specifically here with the Eight of Pentacles, this is how he sees you. This Eight of Pentacles energy is about how you're able to master your craft. You know, you're someone that, you know, really enjoys working on yourself, achieving things that are physical. You are focused on your education, your glow up, you know, evolving in life. You know your self-worth. You know your value. So he feels that you are just really on this journey of making your life better. Self-improvement, self-care, self-awareness here. And he feels left out, quite frankly. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are his honest feelings about you? And you have here coffee cup, meeting and conversing. That's what he wants to do. He wants to meet up. He wants to savor the moment in this relationship connection. Because you're someone, see, you make him feel uplifted. You offer him friendship, companionship. And those are the characteristics and a part of your personality trait that he does value so much. Let's get more. Thank you, Spirit. His honest feelings about you. You have your time. Ooh, you are trying too hard. Give it time. You see this here? This is a nice confirmation showing up. Thank you, Spirit. He's trying really hard to be close to you. He really is. And see, you understand space. You want space. That's why he feels like you are letting go completely with, you know, the energy here of the goddess Yomosha. He feels like, you know, you are really wanting space. You need freedom. You need time. You know, you, you don't need to be tied down, controlled. And he's trying, he's trying too hard. And so he feels like also that he could be pushing you away, you know, with his actions, with the way that he approaches this relationship connection. He feels like he could very well be pushing you away. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what are his honest feelings about you? I want to be more than friends. Look at this nice correlation showing up. I want to be more than friends. Yes, he does. See, because this message lays here with the eighth house intimacy. This is what he wants. He wants to have that closeness of emotional connection more than just being in the friend zone. And that's what he feels like. He feels like you have put him in the friend zone. And that's what makes him sensitive here with the eighth house. And with the eighth house ruling over Scorpio, that's about mysteries as well. So he doesn't know. He's thinking, do you have someone else? Are you going out on a date? Is someone, are you speaking to someone, talking to someone? Also wondering if you're talking to someone over coffee. What's really happening with you? Are you really hiding how you truly feel about him to maybe not hurt his feelings. Let's get more insight. But he's definitely feeling like you're in a space where you want to move on. You want to move forward. Look at the four of cups showing up. Yes, he feels unfulfilled. His emotions are not really intact and whole. He feels unfulfilled right now in his feelings quite a bit. He doesn't want any surprises when it comes to this relationship connection. He sees you as definitely being valuable and really focused on your achievements right now, your job, your growth, self-care, taking care of your mind, your body, and your spirit. As you should, you're on the right track. Thank you, spirit. Yes, so beautiful number one. This does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number two. Welcome to your reading. His honest feelings about you. I will share with you all of the energy that comes through and not leave anything out. Please take one moment to click that like, subscribe to the channel. That is how you can help to support. Let's get straight into your reading. 
I see your energy. You're naturally drawn here to the goddess Arakura. And this is about you evolving, you blooming, you glowing up. Let me just point out that he definitely feels like you are attractive. He feels like you may even be too attractive for him. This is what's in his mind. He also feels like you're growing, you're maturing, you are emotionally stable. He's wondering or not whether or not um, you and him are on the same level, meaning in maturity wise. So let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. His honest feelings about you, what are his honest feelings. Well, you have Virgo, the alchemist. See, yes. You see this? He feels like you are perfection in every way. Your mind, your body, you have everything that he would ever need or desire. He feels like you are, you are healthy for him. You know, you're someone that can be fruitful in life, that can help him grow as well. You know, it's funny because he feels like you have this spell over him, this control, you know, that he can't let go of. And you offer him insight. You're very insightful, very informative. He sees you as being like healthy for him. The previous uh, relationship connections that, you know, he has been around, whether romantic or platonic, they have been quite toxic. But you're the opposite of that. You're very healthy for him. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what are his honest feelings about you? His honest feelings. And you have here the two of wands. Oh, with the wand energy. He sees you as being very fiery, passionate, very enthusiastic, always in a good mood. You have a, a very optimistic mindset about yourself. You always want to make plans and see with you, you want a relationship where it's like, you know, it's like relationship goals where you have a partnership where you can grow and create with your person. And he sees you as this, you're a great influence on him as well. He also feels like you can influence other people with your gifts and your talents. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. And what are his honest feelings about you? His honest feelings. And you have here the coffin. Yeah. See, there is some insecurity there, you know. He's really afraid that because he doesn't match up to, you know, you, you're not the same in some ways. He feels like you definitely aren't compatible, that you may be putting an ending to this relationship connection. You know, but he's hoping for a fresh start, a new beginning, hoping that you see him from a new perspective. But with new change comes new things. So he's wondering, will you have new friends? Will you have a new romantic partner? It's about liberation, transition, transition, you moving on, moving forward. Those are things that go through his mind on a daily basis. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. See? Yeah. He feels like you may be feeling sorry for him, which is why you're still, you know, in this relationship connection, which is why you're even giving him the thought or the time or the day or giving him your energy. He feels like you are feeling sorry for him for something. And he has a way of making you feel sorry. Also, I feel like he feels guilt regarding, you know, his previous actions and behavior towards you. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. What are his honest feelings? I feel you even though we are apart. Yes, he does. He tries to find you in everything, in people, in experiences, in movies. He's always thinking about you no matter what. And I love how this message came out immediately after Spirit gave us that insight of how you are always on this person's mind. He's definitely in his feelings over this relationship connection. 
Let's get more insight. I also feel like there's a bit of an obsession um, for you as well. I feel like he's obsessed because he sees you, you know, as the one, but he doesn't, he knows that he's not truly compatible with you. He feels inferior because he can't offer you what he knows that you deserve. Let's get more insight. <clears throat> And absolutely, look at the Queen of Swords showing up. Yes, he does see you in this way. The sword energy represents communication. It also rules over the air zodiac signs. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini are in the top placements of the birth chart. In the sun, moon, or rising, seventh house of relationships, or even the planet Venus, you got Virgo here. That wand energy showed up with Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. So yes, he has a multitude of fire, water, and earth and the top placements of his birth chart. And so do you here. Thank you, spirit. With the sword energy, this is about communication and how he feels like he has to come to you correct or don't come at all. You've heard it before. You've dealt with so many inconsistencies when it comes to other people and you're not about to put yourself last. You're putting yourself first as you know, seeing here with this queen of swords, you are self-sufficient, a self-sufficient person, and you're totally honest when it comes to your partners and your relationships and what you desire. And that is what you expect from him. So that's why, you know, he knows and he feels like you are highly worthy. You're valuable. I love the queen of swords showing up as a confirmation. Let me just say your reading is extremely accurate. Thank you, spirit. Yes. So beautiful number two, this does conclude your reading. And I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful number three. Welcome to your reading. His honest feelings about you. And I will share with you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. And let's get straight into your reading. I see here your energy. You're naturally drawn here to the goddess Chango. This is about your divine feminine essence that he recognized, that he adores, and that for some reason, he is kind of like in competition with, okay? He feels like you have this feminine power that is unfair in some regards. You know, I'm picking up that he has this narrative like women get to do everything. Women are seen in this wonderful light. Women feel like they should be taken care of. This is the personality and the characteristic traits that I am getting from him. But he sees you as this divine feminine energy. He actually sees you as being very beautiful, you know, and he feels like you're someone that carries yourself very well. Let's get more insight. Thank you, spirit. And how does he view you now? How does he feel about you? What are his feelings? What's the energy coming through, spirit? You have Saturn. Ooh, with the planet Saturn showing up, he definitely sees that you are smart as well. You're tuned in to whether or not, you know, what is right for you and what is not right for you. You know whether or not he's shady, whether he is coming correct, whether he's lying, whether he's being honest. You know whether or not he's going to produce something for himself or even measure up to the greater version of himself. You are one that is always, you know, putting pressure on, you know, your partner. You want your partner to be great. So that's why you really believe in structure, organization in a relationship, as well as discipline. Yes, you expect him to be faithful. He knows that you expect him to be loyal and you expect him to be one that has lots of self-control when it comes to relationships. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. How does he feel? Whoa, this guy, I'm picking up some very sensitive feelings with this guy. Someone that is always thinking, like overthinking or in his feelings a lot. His honest feelings. Woo, look at the moon showing up. The moon represents feelings and emotions. Let me just say, starting out, your reading is accurate AF, okay? With the moon showing up here as a confirmation, immediately as spirit is giving us 
feelings, emotions. He's in there. Yes, he is. Thank you, spirit. Let me just point out that the moon does rule over the zodiac sign of cancer. Cancer is significant in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in the reading. Yes, honey, he knows that, see, also you have great intuition. You're tapped in. You know what's up with this person. He knows he can't lie to you. He can't come to you saying anything because you can peep him. <laughs> you can read him. All right? This person has shadow work to do. He really does. He knows that he needs to work on himself, and he knows that you can see some of his shadow areas. And what's done in the dark will come to light. This is about mysteries. He knows that you know when he's not telling you the truth. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. And what are his honest feelings about you? His honest feelings. You have here passion. Look at passion showing up. Thank you, Spirit. This is about how he's insanely attracted to you. He wants you to like him equally as he does like you. He loves the fact that, you know, you're the type of person that he can have fun with. You know, you know how to metaphorically let your hair down, let go, and just live in the moment. And he loves that about you. You have this very fun demeanor, optimistic attitude. And he feels like that complements his serious attitude. Let's get more insight. Mm -hmm. This is about emotions here. Look at that connection. Look how they are deep into each other. Embrace. And through each other, you find the missing pieces. See, I just got that insight with him feeling like you compliment him, whereas he can be worrisome and you can lift him up and you can say, hey, baby, don't be worried about it. Everything's going to be all right. That's where you feel him in, in that way. So I love this confirmation showing up here. Let's get more. Thank you, spirit. He's, let me... I, I'm picking up a codependent energy as well. And that's where you feel the heaviness of the relationship. Him relying on you to supply all the emotional, all the communication. And you know that is not how you want your relationship to be. So let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit is encouraging you here to trust your intuition. This moon card came out for a specific reason. Trust what he has shown you physically, his actions towards you, as well as your intuition and how you feel. Because if you don't feel good, then you must turn away and go in the direction of what makes you feel good. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. Just being near you is intoxicating. Look how clear this message comes through. Just being near you is intoxicating. This is how he feels. And I'm picking up a bit of obsession here. I'm picking up envy as well. So pay close attention to what's happening in this relationship connection. It's like he, he's dependent on your energy. Spirit just gave us that with that codependent message. And yeah, it starts out really cute. You know, you're feeling like, oh... You know, he, he's really into this relationship. He wants to make it work. But no, codependency is not healthy. Spirit wants you to be aware of that. Let's get more insight. Thank you, Spirit. You look at the Four of Swords. He feels like you need a break from him. You, and you feel like you need a break from him too. You feel like you need to retreat. You need to go into solitude. Sometimes you feel like you need to hide. Turn off your phone. Turn off your text. Block him. That's what you feel like. And he feels like that's what you're doing when you ignore him. But it's so good for you to embrace the four of swords energy. The sword energy rules over the air zodiac signs. Gemini. Aquarius and Libra, they are in the top placements of his birth chart or your birth chart as a confirmation here in the reading. And with this four of swords energy, he feels like you look a lot younger when you don't, you know, when you're not worried about what he's thinking. And you are growing younger when you take time out to take care of yourself, when you find that balance, that moderation, that patience for yourself, that patience to wait. 
for the relationship connections that are, you know, good for your mind, good for your body, good for your spirit. So he definitely sees you as being very beautiful, divine, feminine energy, looking a lot younger than your age, smarter than he thought you was. And this person has a lot of work to do emotionally. So beautiful number three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. And if it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. I am sending you lots of love and good energy.